We can no longer keep living in our limitations, man. Like when you understand that you're worthy, God has already equipped you. When you understand that God has given you a purpose, these opinions, these struggles, these all, all those things that try to hold you back, man, they really don't matter as much. They don't have as much power in your life. This isn't a message to tell you that you're not going to go through anything because you're going to go through a lot. This is the world. You're going to go through hard times. None of us are exempt from the storm. None of us are exempt from the struggle. None of us are exempt from hate. None of, our ex none of us are exempt from criticism. But at the end of the day, it's up to us if we allow those things to control us. And this one thing, this one thing has helped change my life, has helped change my life. And I want to share it with you. But I want to make sure that you're in a position. Comment below right now. If you're ready to hear this and receive this, because we can't just be coming to these lives. We can't just be picking up these books. We can't just be watching these videos, just searching for hope. And that's it. You got to search for transformation. You got to apply it to your life. You got to get sick and tired of being sick and tired. You got to say enough is enough because you were created. You were created for more things. You were created for better things. You were created for a new level. There's a next level with your name on it. There's a new level with your name on it. And some of you right now watching this is talking yourself out of your greatness right now. Saying, Trent, but you don't understand. Saying, Trent, but you don't get it. Saying, Trent, you're thinking about all the reasons why you can't be it. Instead of that one reason why you can't be it, because God called you to do it. And when God called you to do it, can't nobody stop that. The only person that can get in our way is us. It's me. It's you. It's not those people that don't like you. You're giving them power by allowing their words to control you. It's not your failure. You're giving it power for you to think that's the end of your story. For you making that thing your identity, there's more to your life. I promise you, there is a new level. There is healing. There is strength. There is courage. There is confidence. There is a next level of greatness with your name on it. But some of us, we so wrapped up into our self-pity. We so wrapped up into what everybody else is doing, what everybody else is saying. We so wrapped up into it being a watcher that we don't claim it. You claim a depression? Oh, man. This is going to be one right here. This is going to be one right here. You claiming struggle? You claiming generational trauma, which is a real thing? You claiming generational curses? You, cl you claiming all these things. And you allowing those things to stick to your soul. You're allowing those things to become you because thoughts become things. Things become behaviors and behaviors become us. You're allowing those things. You're not claiming that greatness that God gave you. You're not claiming that unique gift. And this ain't no motivational message. Get it right. I ain't no motivational speaker. I'm a real one. I talk that real. I'm a person that's going through it too. You know, sometimes it's hard to realize that you're in depression. Some of us right now, we're in depression. And we don't know it. We gain weight and we think we gain weight just because a side of depression. We stop doing the things we love to do. We think, oh, it's just because I'm getting older. Maybe it's a side of depression. But I want to tell you there's a new level with your name on it. There's a next level with your name on it. There's some greater with your name on it. Are you going to claim it? Are you going to claim it? Let me know in the comments below. Are you going to claim it? Because it's for you. It's yours. It's yours. And one of the things that I need you to do right now, see, we wake up every single morning and we believe the world. We wake up every single morning. We go to a job that we don't like. We wake up every single morning. We scroll on social media. We wake up every single morning. We take the chaos of the world and we believe those things and those things become us. We start to breathe those things. We start to be those things. We start to believe those things and they become us. And we're so good at speaking death into our life. We're so good with the words, I will never be. We're so good with the words, oh, it's over. We're so good with the words, oh, I'm not good enough. Man, I'm preaching to y'all today. Y'all don't feel me. It's 2 o'clock and y'all don't feel me. You ain't going to hear a real message like this all day long. I guarantee it. And that ain't me to toot my own horn. It's because I feel it in my soul right now. I know there's somebody right now. It might be one of you. And I'm talking to you. There's somebody right now that's going to take this message, going to claim it, and their life is going to change forever. Not because I have some superpower, because they finally claim their greatness. And I'm talking to you like this because I had to talk to myself like this. We're so good with speaking the wrong things in our life. When's the last time you woke up in the morning and spoke life into your life? When are you going to realize that you could be your own motivation? Some of y'all waiting for me to show up online. Trent, where you been? Trent, where you been? I get and I appreciate it. But it got to come to a point where you ain't depending on Trent Sheldon. We ain't depending on your mom, your dad, your friends to support you. We ain't depending on people to validate you. When you realize that God already gave you something, you just, you just haven't claimed it yet. You just haven't claimed it yet. That's greater than a lottery. That's greater than a promotion. 
that's greater than a blue check by your name, that's greater than any significance that the world has given you, God has already gave it to you, are you going to claim it? But when's the last time you woke up and spoke life into your life? When's the last time you woke up and said, I am? Not I will be, not I hope to be, not I pray to be, but I am. I am greatness. I am healed. I am at my next level. I am living the life that God has called me to live. And even though you might not be there yet, but when you tell your mind that you're there, I promise you your mind will find a way to get you there. And I ain't saying it just happens by hope. I ain't saying it just happens by chance, but it happens by prayer. It happens by work. It happens by putting your all into it. That's what I'm telling you right now at 2 o'clock in the daytime. When are you going to claim it? Because I got tired of playing games with my life. Yeah, I went through a hard season of my life, but I woke up and I said, you know what? I'm going to claim it every single morning. I'm going to tell myself, man, there's more to my life. I'm going to tell myself I'm in my more. I'm in my next level. And I claimed it. But when are you going to get sick and tired of being sick and tired? I'm tired of people complaining about the storm that they keep creating. Or I'm tired of people complaining about a storm that they ain't doing nothing about, man. Let me sit back down if I wake everybody up in my neighborhood. What up, Vanessa? What up, Kristen? All right? I just want you to speak that life into your life. Every single day you wake up, you ask Trent, what is the one thing? It is speaking life into your life. It is waking up and giving yourself time. It is waking up and praying to God. It is waking up connecting with yourself. It is waking up and spending time with you. It is waking up protecting your peace and speaking life into your life. Speak life into your life and watch how it transforms your life. Watch how it transforms your day. Watch how you program yourself to look for opportunities. Watch how you program yourself to look for the good things in life. There might be a million things going wrong, but there might be one thing going right in your life that overtakes those million things going wrong. Do you hear me? Say straight up if you feel me. You got to speak life into your life. You got to speak greatness into your life. You got to speak healing into your life. You got to speak change into your life. You got to speak new beginnings into your life. And you got to claim it, man. You got to claim it. You got to claim it. And I promise you, when you start thinking like that, when you change your mindset, because your brain, your brain is going to follow what you feed it. This thing up here, man, is dangerous. This thing up here is dangerous. And a lot of us, what we do, we don't expect our life. We just accept. Not in a powerful way, in a negative way. We just accept. We say, oh, man, this is who I am. Oh, man, this is who I'm going to be forever. Oh, man, this is what. No. Joy comes in the morning, my friend. This too shall pass, my friend. You got to claim it. You got to believe it. I don't care what, what this world has shown you. I don't care what doctors tell you. I don't care what people are putting on your life. I don't care what's going on, man. You can't surrender to the pain. You can't surrender to the opinions. You can't surrender to your reality. Operating in faith. Is believing the odds are beatable even when everything else says it's impossible. That's faith, my friends. So as I leave you today, share this with somebody who needs it, man. I'm not begging you to share. If you don't want to share it, I don't care. But I know somebody out there that's not on this live that needs it. Hit me up on my IG and let me know if you felt it. Text me below because I'm pouring out inspiration. Forget inspiration. I'm pouring out transformation to your phone every single day for the people that's in the U.S., 817-242-2719. And I'm not on here as a perfect human being. I went through the darkest season of my life. Of my life. I feel you. I'm not afraid to say that. I'm not a person with a platform that pretends to be perfect. I'm a person with a platform that shows you that real. That shows you, man, nobody's exempt from it. But I refuse to allow my storm to become my identity. I refuse to allow that season to become my identity. And I said, man, if I can't see nothing, if I can't do nothing, I know one thing. There's power in the tongue, so I'm going to speak life into my life. I'm going to meditate. I'm going to pray. I'm going to control the things that are in my control. And once you do that, you plant seeds every single day when you do that. And the seeds that you plant will harvest. This world is already planting seeds in your life every single day. Seeds of limitation, seeds of weeds in your life, seeds of depression, seeds of lack of self, low self-esteem. And a lot of us, what we do is we allow those seeds to take root and those roots become us. So my friend watching this, Shannon, you speak life into your life. Kimberly, you speak life into your life. Becky, you speak life into your life. And I know this might inspire you and motivate you and touch your emotions. 
but I need more from that from you. Not because I necessarily need it, because people around you need it. I refuse to leave this earth knowing that I didn't live the life God created me to live. I refuse to leave this earth with boxes unchecked because of things that I went through. The storm is real, but so is the sun. We got to go through winters, but we don't have to choose to be the winner. You keep rising above, you let nothing hold you back. Hey, what's up, rehabs across the world, Trent here. Thank you for watching our new video. I hope it impacted your life. Listen, we're impacting lives all across the world. I want you to know this. It's because of you. It's because of you supporting the messages and sharing the messages. And speaking about sharing the messages, if this video touched your heart, if it's on your heart, please press share because I promise you this, there's somebody in the world right now that needs to watch this video. And by you pressing share, you become a hero in their life. I get messages every single day say, Trent, I had no idea what rehab time was yesterday, but my friend shared the video. I saw it on the timeline and man, did I need it. We're going to continue to impact the world only with your help. We appreciate you. But like I say at the end of every single video, it all starts with you. It's rehab time. Let's get it.